it's sugar queen and i'm back with another let's play video <sighs> i know y'all i've been gone a long time don't be mad at me i mean i gave y'all some like tiny makeovers you know you know to hold you over but i've been really working hard on season two and i know y'all probably like well dad girl finish season one first you right you right, but in order for me to get these last few videos out, I needed to at least attempt to start preparing for season two so they could piggyback into season one. It's hard to explain, but after we get into this video, which you probably already gonna know what the title is due to the fact that I'm gonna name it the title, you already know why I'm needing season two to be starting, not starting, but starting to be worked on in order to finish these last few episodes. Anyway, I don't even know what episode this is. I think I got like two more episodes left for season one. And then it's going to be a minute before season two starts because your girl just need to prepare. And I want to see if I could do something different for season two. But we'll get into that later. Anyway, so right now we in season one, episode episode 29. I had to pause y'all so I could look and see what number I was really on. So basically I said I just wanted 30 videos in season one. That's all I'm going to do It's just 30 episodes so this was 29 and then we're going to have one more after this one and then it will be the season finale of season one of the let's play so right now we are in the hollis family and uh what's your name goddess goddess is asking some help asking for help to somebody because both her parents are here so i really don't know who i think she's trying to no, who am I up under? Sienna. I don't know who God is talking to, but she said, someone said eating dirt was okay, blah, blah, blah. We already know what the answer to this is. So do we want to raise her manners, raise her manners, raise her empathy? Let's raise her manners. If you do, kids may tease you. Not that way, though. So we're going to do eating dirt is unhealthy, which is is. So, bam. Um, I think all the other kids are going to start talking, too, in a second. Okay, I guess not. So... <laughs> it is a Tuesday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, tomorrow we're going to have... I knew that was going to happen. Okay, last recess, no one wanted to play with me. Oh, do see? I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in, talk to the teacher, just play on your own. See me, I'm a loner, and I have no problem playing by myself, <laughs> like... Well, wait, that came out wrong. I have no problem being by myself, and I can entertain myself, and I'm my own best friend, and I can trust me, myself, and I. So I will be like, just play by yourself. You, they, if they see you being your own person, you independent, they can be like, hey, what's up? You cool? And they'll come hit you up, maybe. I don't know. Kids in this generation, a little mean. But then I ain't about to ask somebody, can I come play with them? That's just me. But me as a, I'm going to speak on this as me as a parent, and I'm going to say play on your own. I mean... You good. You don't need friends because friends can stab you in the back. So just do you. And I'm still playing on his own. And Jaleah told him to do that. So, and Deuce's emotional control is in range to earn the emotional control trait. And it conflicted with resolution. His, okay. His conflict resolution. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> the conflict resolution decreases. Whatever. But don't be out here fighting, though. No. Unless they hit you first. Okay, so I got my babies out here. But like I was saying before Deuce interrupted me, um, tomorrow we're going to have C G Oh, Lord have mercy. I cannot talk today. Jalea and Nico to take um, Sienna to go look at her new dorm. Hey, go to work. You're supposed to be at work. Okay, so let's see. Do you have any homework? Yep, because you have not started it. What's this? A project? No. Oh, well. Go breeze through your homework. Let's see what he had in school. He's an A student, so that's good. Um, She has a project as well, of course. Go do your homework, and then go do your homework. Where's your grades at? Okay, he's an A student as well. That's good. And so is her. Okay, so as you know, she's still technically a teenager because I have not aged them up yet to be young adults, which is fine because, you know, you go to college at 18, 17, 18 years old. So that's basically what I'm doing. 
So, but by the time season two starts, she will be a young adult. But right now, she's still a teenager. So, of course, she has homework and all that good stuff. But, yeah, we are going to just let her do the homework. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, even though she quote unquote graduated, we said she was in summer school. Yeah, that's what it was. See, I didn't remember. I didn't remember at all. I ain't watched the last episode before I started working. So I'm gonna have her do this, and then um, I guess she could do that project. I don't know. Well, it's not really that big of a deal, so I'm not tripping off of it. Because technically, she's already graduated or whatnot. So yeah, after she do her homework, we're gonna have her do a little painting. Yeah, and get this aspiration up. And then, where's baby boy at? Where are you at, prodigy? Up here with mommy? Uh-oh, what did I do? Yep, up here with mommy. So, okay. So, he's up here. Is she reading him to sleep? Reads a child. She's just reading to him. Okay. Her braids are blue. I mean, the zaffle, Habiri Shirsha. I swear my kids never have clothes on when they was babies. Never had clothes on. I don't care how many outfits I made for them. They always was in boxers or diapers or sleep clothes. Never had clothes on. Okay, so let's make sure everybody wants to do homework. Yep. Everybody came to do homework and daddy's at work. So I'm going to have him work hard. Okay, so after she's done reading, she's going to come down here and start some dinner. And... I'm going to take them into creative sim and oh my gosh, you need a bath. I'm going to have Legend give him a bath when he does his homework. Um, She's going to come down here and cook some dinner. Wait, let's see what they got in the refrigerator already because it might be a leftover night. Let's see. Um, We can sell all of this because I don't even have that custom, what's the call? Yeah, that um thing in the game anymore. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. Um, this is dirty. Trash. Um, we got some cookies. Let's sell the mushrooms. Um, this is um, almond macarons. This is an empty plate. Breakfast scramble. Some bell peppers in here. Got some chicken. Oh no, this is orange duck. Oh, how many servings? Ah, oh, just one. Darn, I was about to say that would have been dinner tonight. Oh, um, what's this? Somebody's half eaten roasted chicken. Uh oh, uh oh. How many servings of this chicken is left? Five. Heck yeah. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, dinner is done. And it got a day left on it. Bet. Okay, so. Why she got laundry in here? Put that in there. There we go. So. She's going to put out this, she's going to warm up this orange chicken for the kids. I mean, this uh, roasted chicken. And they can eat this. Let me see. How much time did it take away? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, that's what they're going to eat for dinner. So, she doesn't have to cook. Okay? So, basically, what I'm about to do is basically let them do their homework. I'm going to let them eat dinner. I'm going to change some outfits. Even though I probably think I did that before I ended the last episode. Or after I ended the last episode. But it doesn't matter. We're going to check it out anyway. What is this trash? That's disgusting. But, um, and then I will see you guys tomorrow when we head to the school. Okay. So, it is the next day. And Deuce and Goddess are already at school. Um, Legend is on his way. And, of course, she's not in high school anymore, so she's not going. And I have Baby Girl in here painting. Until, you know, it's time for the tour. Um, Jalea and... Uh, how about I call him Deuce? Nika went to dinner last night since the kids ate the leftovers. And he got food poisoning. Um, and they gave him $297 and told him, please don't tell anyone. But we will not be going back to the Salty Llama anymore. Not Salty Llama. Whatever that little seafood restaurant place is that came with cats and dogs. Yeah, we will not be going there anymore because he got food poisoning. Um... Little man had got a, had a nightmare. He went and pooped. And now he's trying to get his last skill up. 
where is it at? Right here. His oh wait. He <laughs> he he is almost done with his last skill, and then he will finally be ready to age up. So excited. Um, as far as God is, uh, well since I have aging off or whatever, it should be about time for her to age up. Oops. And induce and their prodigy but i'm not ready because if i age up them then i have to age up all of the other kids in their generation and nobody has time for that right now <laughs> like who else uh who are her little friends like the triplets will have to age up amai amaya no amai amir and amira will have to age up Zori would have to age up if she technically just aged up as a child. Even though Zori isn't friends with Goddess. Is she friends with him? No, they're not really friends with Zori. Huh. He's not really friends with Amai. Legend is friends with Amai. So technically the triplets was like around the age of legend, but you know, whatever. It's just too much. Too many kids. Too many kids. But yeah, so um right now I'm letting him do his last little skill. And then we should age him up at the end of this park. It'd be his little birthday. But um, so mom's up. She hasn't been asleep, but it's all good. Um, I'll probably let her get a few hours of sleep in. And then we could probably leave around 12. So I'm going to let her go to sleep. I'm going to let him go back to sleep. And I'm going to let her continue to paint her painting. Because um, she needs to <clears throat> push play. Um, she, oh, wait, no. Start three paintings while inspired. What she's doing now, she's on two. And she need to paint for five hours. She's painted for four. So she's almost done with part one of her aspiration, which is good. Let's speed this up. Oh, no. She got to go to work. Um, let's take some PTO. Yeah. I'm going to take PTO. Okay, and then, is he off? Oh, please be off. Oh, no, he got to work at five hours. He got to work at two. So he can at least go with them in the beginning of the tour, and then he can um, just go ahead and go to work. And then Jalea will stay with Sienna for the rest of the tour. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll be back at 12 when they're about to leave, or when they arrive at the school. Okay, so we are here at Brindleton University. I don't think I want to keep it called that, but honestly, whatever. Um, it's really big. Like, extremely big. And how I have it set up, you know what? I'm not even going to explain that. Nope, no, 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 no. Not going to tell you guys. But um, basically, we're going to have them walk around and... Um, just basically view the school for starters she's gonna pick prodigy up because we're not even about to try to chase him all over the school not about to happen uh, daddy's about to go to school in an hour i mean work in an hour so first we're going to start by coming over here and going to well the courtyard so we're going to have them come here together over here and then basically they have some areas where you can sing you got easels out here um some refrigerators if you want to eat the bathroom here they come and then so she's basically going to be really excited about these easels outside because she likes to paint outside hence why hers is outside um her house you have some yoga mats over here and some um, punching bags and then we're going to come back over this way and we're going to go inside this classroom so she can see where the classrooms are okay and so you basically got this big area over here and it's going to be the classroom got a big monitor your teachers professional desk up here um, it should be a podium right here. I'm, I'm probably going to put a podium right there. Um, bulletin board over here. 
and that's where the first classroom is and then over here um oh you know what he could call out of work take a vacation day oh no 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 don't go on vacation um, um which one is it no not that take a vacation there we go Okay, so I'm gonna have him do that because he wants to see the school too. So basically over here is for the aspiring photographers and models. Um, you can have the little area over here, the singers and dance class is over here. And then when you come this way, where is he? Where is he going? Uh-uh. He was going to work. <laughs> You're not going to work, honey. Don't go to work. Okay, so I'm gonna have him meet them over here. But um, over here is just a model of the school. So I'm gonna have them go here together. So we're basically taking the tour with them. Honestly, I just put it down and made sure it had classrooms. So hopefully it works out. If not, I will be replacing the school. But as of right now, everything is good. So it's basically the model of Brendleton since you know it's the name um and then you come in here it's her art i mean not art but her well basically yeah it's an art room in the sculpture room so handy handy whatever i don't know what the name of that class will be but she basically can do okay okay going out here um wood shop wood shop that's what it's called uh, wood shop and art class over here um and then I think I did everything down here so far. Um, I have them go upstairs. So I want them to come up here and check out like the library. So let's have them come right here together. So it's basically like the library up here or like a study hall. So you got your books over here and you got a whole bunch of computers. So just in case you wanna get away from your roommate or whatever, you come here and use the computer, get some studying done. Um, you can check out the books, you have bathrooms. What are they doing? Why are they not coming upstairs? Come upstairs with me. Go here together. What are they doing? Okay, they need to be reset. So basically up here, let's put the walls up. You got your bathroom and then over here, like I said, is the books. So you can check out the books. So it's basically study hall slash a mini little library over here. Plenty of computers, plenty of desks where you could just write if you need to write. And that's it. What is this? Well, basically just like, okay, yeah. So that's this over here. And then so next, we're going to go into the next building or over here to the courtyard, another courtyard where they can play basketball. I'm not gonna have them come over here, but I'm gonna just show y'all. There's a basketball court over here for the boys and for the girls as well. Not gonna discriminate. And then back out the door, which is here. So I'm gonna have them both, all four of them come here together. And then we're going to go into the main building over here. Do they need to be reset again? I was about to say, jeez. Um, and then we'll come over here. We're going to go downstairs. We're going to put the walls down. Are they out here yet? Here they come. Okay. And so you go through the doors here. You can come over here. And this is basically... Okay, it's basically the, well, I don't wanna say cafeteria, but then kinda is. But you have your, wow, you can't even hire vendors. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I hope I didn't. Okay, I didn't. It's basically their little cafeteria. You can hire vendors. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Dag, I did hire a vendor. Oh well. Whatever. Where are you going, Julia? I was just going to put Prodigy down. Why? Oh, he's sleepy. Oh, man. Prodigy, I'm so sorry. I'm going to cheat up his bladder. 
Um, I'm going to just have Jalea sit here and let him take a nap. I guess she can't hold him while he sleeps. Okay, so I'm going to take her out of the group. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, can we just send him to daycare? No, hold on, wait. Lee, this is the... Her parents keep hitting her up. Um... What was I saying? Oh, so this is basically one of their cafeterias or whatever. Um, the school hires the vendors to come and like, you know, feed the kids, I guess. And then there's also a little cafe here as well. And then also a bar where they could do work, some coffee. And then over here is like the principal's office or the dean's office. The dean's secretary sit here. Um, and then, you know, a little waiting area while you wait for your chance with the Dean. Now, next, when you go over this way, go here together. It's basically a student hall. So you can watch movies, you can play foosball, um, you can play the llama game, and then you can either play, even play the, um, arcade game as well. Let's see if they have one of those. They do. It's over here. They got the dark games over here also. So it's basically the student union or whatnot is in the main building, which we are in. So you got the cafeteria, the dean's office, and the student union downstairs. When you go up the stairs, so we're going to have them come here together. Well, no, we're not because these were dorms and I took the dorms out because I don't think I want anybody living in here. So I want to see if I can make them into other classrooms or something that the students can use. Also up here, since they were dorms, they had like a mini kitchen up here. So, you know, if they want to cook, they can. So it's basically the student union, this whole building in the Dean's office. Um, there's some bathrooms up here. And then also if they need to use the laundry room, the laundry room is up here as well. If they don't want to go home, Oh, um, mommy's going to use the bathroom. Okay, daddy, you have to use the bathroom too? No, he's good. Um, she's tired. We cheated up a little bit. And Legend is now, I mean, Deuce is, I mean, Prodigy is now good. Um, I'm going to have her carry him, give mommy a break. Um, so pick him up. Okay, so you can hold your little brother. Um... So, yeah, we're going to wait for mommy to finish using the bathroom. Okay, now, so over here in the last building, we have the science hall. So, basically, when you come up the stairs, you have over here is where basically the doctors will be. This is the doctor's building. So, everybody who's want to be a scientist or a doctor, a veterinarian, this is where they're basically their classes will be held. So, over here, you have the doctor's vet school um in the middle it's just basically a little city area study area and over here you have your science hall over here where they're going to learn this with their science tables chemicals and all that good stuff downstairs i didn't mean to bring them upstairs you also have some more science labs over here a computer area computer lab and then on this side is basically like the gym so you can do some working out or whatever. And so that's basically it. That's basically the um the um the university outside. Let's pause so we cannot run up the time because she still has to go see her dorm. Um out here you got the little chest. Did I pause? Pause. You got the oh, let's have them take care of themselves. Um care for self, care for self, and care for self. Okay. So basically over here you got some chest over here. Um, you got another like vending. Oh, I showed y'all that one already. That's um the vending area. Um and then over here in this courtyard is oh, the vendor came out here instead. Okay. So they can order some tea. So basically some coffee, some tea and stuff like that because you know they're college they can't drink so so that's basically what's out here so they can just sit and talk to their classmates between classes and that is basically Brindleton University and I think it is amazing it's really cute and it has everything for each of their you know their majors in this building so now 
before they head back home and I'm in the video, it's time for her to go see where she's going to be living um, with her best friends, Amaya and Lacey. They're all going to be living in the same apartment together. So now we're going to head over there so she can see where she's going to be living. And then they can start preparing to buy her stuff for her dorm. So I'm going to have Julia drive and they're going to head over. Okay, so I wasn't thinking. And they can't just go in there. So, <laughs> basically, I'm going to have them three move into here. Um, got your kitchen, your bedroom, 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 living room, bathroom, bathroom. Um, probably going to have the laundry room in there somewhere as well. Just basically like ex -Viva's, um apartment, how she got it set up for her last play. I'm going to have the laundry room in here. But this is going to be their dorm room, dorm apartment, sorry. You know how your colleges have the dorm room, dorm rooms? Excuse me. And then they have the apartment dorm. So where you have like three suites and y'all basically just share a kitchen and um, um, a living room. So it's basically how this is going to be set up, except they're going to have to share bathrooms as well. So, yeah, and then they have their neighbors over here in the next apartment, which they are already moved in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main world. Whoa. Matter of fact, let's just have them, you know, travel and go back home. And when we go to the main world, I'm going to show you all what it looks like. Okay, so we're in San Machino. And so, basically, I have it broke down to the arts gallery. The arts quarters will be where the art students live. Um... The spice get, um, quarters is basically going to be like where the medical students live. The fashion district is going to be where all the ran, you know, the random dorm room apartments and how they just going to have their own. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They're going to be like other majors basically just live here. And then the, um, the business uptown or whatever is going to be like the technology quarters where all the technology business students um, are going to live. And so that's basically how I've broken down. Um, so Sienna, Lacey, and Amaya will be living over here in the arts quarters. And this is going to be their apartment. As you can see, I have it how the dorms basically look. The living room over here. I got a little dining area, their kitchen. This is going to be a bathroom, laundry room, and then another bedroom here, and a bedroom, and a bedroom here. Now, you know, when you first move into a dorm, it has this basic bed, basic um, dresser, basic little nightstand, your basic computer desk. But once they move in, obviously, they're going to fix up their dorm rooms the way they want, just like over here, how Dina and Maven have theirs. They have their own individual styles in their dorm room. Okay, so that's basically how theirs is going to be set up as well. They're going to fix it up and have it to be homey the way they want it to live, how they want it to live, um, how they want to live. So also, over here in this apartment is their dorm director. So this is basically Vera Moore. She is their um, dorm director, their RA, RHD, um, however, you know, the college just put them, I don't really know, but she's going to be over this building, this building, and this is just basically an art gallery where they can go and, you know, have an art gallery for the students, how the students can just go and get some coffee, view some art, or even go in and paint, that's basically what this building is going to be, and this is another dorm, oh no, same one, this is another dorm, you have three students here, you got... So, um, Saban, you have Jennifer, and you have Olivia King Lewis. They're all living over here. They're all also art majors. And then you have um, Kyla Moore. She was made by my 20. Same as also uh, Vera. They're supposed to be mother and daughter, but some kind of way it messed up and it made them not mother and daughter anymore. But I'm going to fix that. But um, Kyla and Prisha are both um, also living in the arts department, arts quarters. And then you have Salim Banali over here. I did give him a makeover. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It is up. And he's living over here. He is an artist 
he is a writer but he's gonna be writing like screenplays so it's basically theater art theatrical art so that's why he's still in the arts quarters and i didn't want to give up his apartment because it's his um and then over here oh yeah them them three is over here them two over here and so he's over here and then this is where she is going to be living with her two best friends so oh so that's basically where she's gonna be living um i didn't get to actually go into the dorm i wasn't thinking straight if i would have had somebody already moved in here then she probably could have just knocked on the door but she's gonna be living there with her two best friends and technically they haven't moved into their dorms yet we're waiting into season two for that so yeah so that's basically it so right now i'm gonna have them travel back home and i will see you guys tomorrow okay y'all finally took them forever but um okay so now everybody's home it's now 6 35 um mommy made a cake and now she's about to help baby deuce no baby prodigy blow out his candles the last of the hollis family honey is about to age up. Wait, 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 wait. Where you at? Okay, she is naked. Okay, so I need her to hurry up and get dressed and come here. Something is broken. Oh my gosh, she's still okay. naked. So thanks, she just pissed me off. So thanks to Sienna not dressing fast enough. Y'all definitely missed the whole freaking blow the candles, but it's all good. It's not like y'all haven't seen a freaking baby age up before. Anyway, he got all of his skills. So he was a level five toddler, which Sienna was also. Honestly, I think all my babies were in this household, but um, I don't even remember what his main trait was. He, oh, he was a charmer. Okay, so I want him to be a social butterfly. Like, I don't think any of my babies are social butterflies. Um, his other trait is going to be, um, I think it's going to probably be cheerful. Um, outgoing. Outgoing or cheerful. Let's see if we have any other sounds. Hmm. Outgoing. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Put on clothes. Sorry that she's naked. I'm not even about to try to cover that up either because that pissed me all the way off. So anyway, so our last baby is now finally aged up. They will be having no more children. Hey, can you fix this? Because it's bothering me. Repair. Thank you. So we have no more kids. The next one to age up will be goddess i think i think goddess was the next one i don't know but um so i'm going to go ahead and end it here um stay tuned for the end of the video because i probably have some pictures of his makeover at the end of this video and you can see what the baby look like or whatever and i hope you guys like the video you mad are you mad Anyway, I hope you guys like the video. Thank you guys for 210 subscribers. I love you guys. I want to say a quick prayer for, well, I want y'all to keep YouTube headquarters in y'all prayers because there was an active shooter today. And just hope everyone is okay. Prayers go out to the families who lost someone today. And it's a really sad situation. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh. Mm -hmm.